magnet. Introduction You may notice that when you bring a coin near a speaker, it gets attracted by the speaker. The reason behind this is that there is a magnet inside the speaker that has a natural property of attracting iron, nickel and cobalt metals. On the earth, magnet naturally occurs at stone of iron oxide known as iod stone. The first magnet was discovered in ancient city of Magnesia and thus it is known as magnetite. Magnet attracts the iron or align it in the north-south direction. It is considered that our earth is a huge magnet with north and south magnetic poles which attracts the natural magnet and iron pieces towards itself. Magnetic and non-magnetic materials Collect the few items such as iron nail, ball, pen, pencil, coin, paper. Take a magnet and touch each item with magnet one by one. You see that only steel spoon, cobalt coin, iron nail and nickel knife is attracted towards the magnet. Rubber, plastic, glass and paper do not attract towards magnet. Thus, we can say that the materials which are attracted towards a magnet are called magnetic materials. For example, iron, cobalt, nickel etc. Whereas, the materials which are not attracted by a magnet are called non-magnetic materials. For example, plastic materials, non-ferrous metals, soil, rocks, wood, glass etc. Iron is a soft metal in its purest form. It is considered as a magnetic material but it loses its magnetic behaviour when heated above a certain temperature called Curie temperature. Steel, a mixture of iron and carbon, is a hard magnetic material as it is difficult to magnetize, but it does not lose its magnetic property easily. Types of Magnets Magnets can be made artificially by man called artificial magnet or man-made magnet. These magnets have ability to gain or lose their magnetic property. It is in control of man while some materials do not lose their magnetic property. On the basis of lose or gain of magnetic behavior, they are classified into two types. Permanent magnets Permanent magnets retain their magnetic properties for a very long time. It is their natural magnetic behavior. These magnets are made from iron, nickel and cobalt. They are of many forms depending upon where they are being used. They are bar magnet, horseshoe, shaped magnet, needle shaped magnet, dumbbell shaped magnet and ring shaped magnet etc. These magnets are used in speakers, magnetic compass, cassettes, computer and iron detecting instruments etc. Temporary magnets Temporary magnets are those magnets which show their magnetic behavior when placed in the magnetic field of permanent magnets. They lose magnetic behavior when magnetic field is removed. Some examples of temporary magnets are paper clips, electromagnet, etc. Electromagnet is an artificial magnet. It is made up of an iron nail and thin copper wire. It shows its magnetic behavior till the electric current flows through it. Poles of a magnet Every permanent magnet has two end points where the lines of magnetic field concentrate. In other way, if we hang a bar magnet in the air freely, with the help of a thread, it moves and align the north-south direction on the earth, north and south geographical poles of the earth. These end points of a magnet are called poles of a magnet. The end which rests towards the north pole of the earth is south pole of the magnet, whereas the end which rests towards the south pole of the earth is called north pole of the magnet. Thus, every magnet has two poles, North Pole and South Pole. When a magnet breaks in two or more pieces, its each broken piece has two poles, North Pole and South Pole. There is no magnet on the Earth with single pole. Poles of a magnet always exist in pairs. Thus, both the smallest and the largest magnet always has two poles. The very interesting characteristics of the poles of a magnet are 
similar or like poles of the magnets north north and south south repel each other or the force of repulsion exists between them on the other hand the opposite unlike poles of the magnet north south and south north attract towards each other or the force of attraction exists between them so when you take the ends of both magnets close to each other they either attract or repel if they attract the poles will be of opposite nature either north south or south north and if they repel the poles will be of same nature north north or south south making a magnet you can make a magnet at home there are many methods of making magnet but the most common methods are single touch method and electric method single touch method take an iron rod of short length and a bar magnet place the iron rod on the table so that it rests stable touch one pole of the magnet to one end of iron rod now drag the magnet along the length of the rod till you reach its other end lift the magnet a little in the same position as you held in your hand come back to the first end of the rod again and follow the same process at least 40 to 50 times bring a pin or other iron piece in contact with iron rod to check whether it is able to attract them or not if it attracts your magnet is ready to use and if not repeat the same process further till it is able to attract the pin or iron piece electric method take an iron rod of short length thin insulated copper wire and a battery wrap the copper wire around the iron rod to make copper coils on it connect two ends of the wire with the electrodes of the battery when you touch a pin or other iron piece with this copper coiled iron rod the rod attracts them towards itself this is due to the flow of electric charge or electric current through the copper coil which develop magnetic field when you remove the connection and simply take the iron rod near iron pieces it does not attract them because flow of electric current is stopped and thus it does not behave as a magnet thus you can make a magnet using electricity magnetic compass a magnetic compass is a simple device used by the pilots and navigators to find the direction in which their ship or aeroplane is moving it is based on the direction giving property of a magnet that is a freely suspended magnet rests in north south direction it consists of a flat circular aluminum box at the base with marked directions like north south east west northeast northwest etc from its center rises a sharp needle over which a magnetic needle is placed The magnetic needle is completely free to move in any direction. A circular glass plate is fixed on the top of the box. By looking at the north pole of the magnetic needle, we can find the given direction. Earth's magnetism. A freely suspended magnet always comes to rest in the north-south direction. This is because the earth itself behaves like a huge bar magnet. with its magnetic poles near the geographical north and south poles the north pole of its near geographical south pole whereas the south pole of the earth is near the geographical north pole in a freely suspended magnet the north pole points towards the geographical north pole since it is attracted by the earth's magnetic south pole similarly the south pole of the suspended magnet is attracted by the earth's magnetic north pole and therefore points towards the geographical south pole of the earth uses of magnets to separate iron or magnetic substances from non magnetic substances in industries in electric motors used in fans coolers mixers etc video and audio cassettes contain a reel of magnetic tape the audio and video information is enclosed on the magnetic coating of the tapes credit debit and atm cards have a magnetic strip which contains the necessary information of your bank account speakers and microphones have ring shaped magnets in them 
Magnets are also used in transformers. Small magnets are used in medical instruments. Magnetism The magnet has the property of attracting and repelling materials. This is due to magnetic force developed by the magnet. This physical phenomenon of attraction and repulsion by magnet in its magnetic field is called magnetism. Initially, the permanent magnetism was observed in iode stone, a form of natural iron ore called magnetite.